this is Austin Schwartz. I'll be doing a park battle between Canada's Wonderland and Cowards. So let's get started. And the because the slide deck isn't that good. It's pretty bad actually. After all, however, it's great. So that's why it's going to earn more points. Now flying coasters. Time lap is so rough that Nighthawk is too. If Nighthawk was smoother, it would easily win, but because it's not, they're both going to get the same points. The wooden coasters. These are both pretty similar. One could be a little smoother than the other, but you can't really tell the difference. BM Iber coasters. This one will go to neither or both of them because they're both great rides. They both will get an 8 out of the 10. Now the Small kid coasters. I'm gonna give both of them a two out of the ten. Now for the custom looping. Dragonfire is gonna earn more points because it has to tell double yolks. However, kind of cyclone does have the color scheme changing. Now the wild mouse. This is gonna go to the fly. Here it goes. Because it's a little bit, it has the bigger drop. The color blue likes this is a little Carolina Cobra for the bite of the strains. But for both parts, still are the points. Wind Seekers, this is gonna go to both, both of them because they're exactly the same. So we're both gonna get a 7 out of 10. Now the drop towers. Drop Tower Screen Tower at Canada's Wonderland is a 7 and at Kelwinds it's a 6. So that like, Canada's Wonderland is going to earn higher points because it's a little bit higher than the one at Kelwinds. Now that the Cone is suspended because the Silver Streak gets a 5. Flying Ace only gets a 3. My Train Thunderland is going to win and get extra points because it's a little cooler in the dark. I don't mean it's close, it's to a mountain, which colors it's not. Mini Williams. Both of these are exactly the same except the color scheme. Now the BM Giggles. This will go fairly for being the best Giggle out there, but they're both going to still earn points. They're both great. Now the operations. This will go to Kelwoods because they dispatch trains a little bit quicker than Canada's one of them. Now the price. This will go to Kelwoods, Canada's Wonderland because it is a little bit cheaper than Kelwoods is. Now the park appearance. This one will also go to Canada's Wonderland because the park appearance is a little better than the one at Kelwoods. Now, Kelwood's extra cost is Vortex, and so they're going to earn a 6. Now, Canada's Wonderland's going to get Wild Beast is only a 4. The Vortex is going to get a 5. And the Wonder Mountain is only going to get a 5 because it's very well themed. Now, the Park map. I like Kelwood's map a lot better. Because it's a little bit. I mean, can because it has, because there's not so many dead ends like Canada's Wonderland has. Now the park layout. This will also go go with because I like the layout. It's stronger. The whole the park layout is stronger. The Canada's Canada's Wonderland might be there. Now the water parks. I don't know if Canada's Wonderland exactly is a water park, I think they do. But also, Can Kelwin's water park is way better. So it's going to earn more points. Family areas. This will go to Canada's Wonderland because they have the extra because this is the families. A lot of food. Both will get a 7 because I think they're better than Six Flags. But they're not perfect. Like Disney or Universal. 
Not with flat lines. Both of these pucks are pretty good with flat lines, but I have to give it to Kara's Wonderland. I think the best collection in the world. Now, winning by only one point is Carowind. Congratulations, you have beaten Kara's Wonderland, Miss Bella.